Hello, I'm Frank with Frank's Clocks. Ah. Sorry if it looks like I am crying. I assure you I'm not. Uh, we've had a lot of fire, uh, wildfires in the area recently. And, oh my god, it just messes with my eyes, like literally. Ah, there we go. I'm Frank with Frank's Clocks and... And, uh, I am, uh... Yes, I should be crying because it's a very unfavorable video. My mom is also here in the corner. Uh, basically, um, this video is going to be a little bit about the last video that I made um, regarding the guppies I bought from Coast Gym USA. Um, we woke up one morning um, and... The last of our guppies had died. Now, before this, the first one we got in the box was a male. It arrived dead. So, I have two trios that equals six fish. Not bad. We had five left. Next day, another male died. And then the day after that, everything was fine for a day. And the four females... Uh, we thought we're finally at, in the clear and the next morning we woke up and they were all dead. Unfortunate as that may be, um, it does happen. Not only did they uh, die, but when I received them, uh, I didn't realize this during the video because I didn't have the lights on, but when I turned the lights on, I realized that they all had pen rot. Um, I was very disappointed with the service. I was very disappointed with uh, basically when I uh, messaged them and I asked them, "Hey, man, what what was up? You know, why are why did all the fish die?" Um, well, they didn't really try to make it right with me at all. They offered me more uh, fish that were probably sick. And uh, see, here's the thing: when when you buy fish online. Unfortunately, you have to pay shipping and handling, and I understand that they uh, have the right to make a profit and everything, but uh, not when you're screwing over your customers, and that's basically what I was screwed over. Um, all together, uh, this was like $80, $90 down the drain, and... I really don't see the point of going through them again to get more sick fish. Um, last time I went through Coast Gym USA, it was fairly decent service and the fish were fine and they weren't sick. Um, however, uh, I thought it was kind of uh, a little curious that uh, when mom woke up, they were all dead. I was still asleep at the time, but mom... When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is I turn the lights on to the tank. I start from one end of the room with my way to the other. When I turn, got to that tank, I turn the light on. Every female was dead. They were all dead. They went into a fresh tank that had been cycled through, and I had two bristlenose cosmoses in there that are still alive and doing great. They had pin rot, and we treated them. We still couldn't save them. They die. So me and mom thought that was a little curious and I, I looked at mom and I said normally I wouldn't do this but let's let, let, let's cut them open and mom was a little ew you know because she's a girl but I'm a guy so I just grinned and bared it so I took a knife and I cut them open. Normally I wouldn't do this but when I did uh, it turns out that my hunch was right and they had parasites in them. And I'm not talking like the microscopic parasites that you can't see. I'm talking like worms, okay? Like, there was something moving in that fish. After that, I just put it back on the, the piece of paper and I uh, folded it up and I took it and I threw it in the trash. And uh, that is the story of why I'm never buying from Coast Gym USA again. Um... They offered four more fish because I could only find four corpses in the trash. Uh, I threw them away, obviously, and I, I, I should have taken pictures. But 
that being said, I, I still don't think it's right to make $80 yeah. off me and... Make, pay another shipping and handling. We would have had to pay the shipping and handling to the poor fish that he was going to give us. So, like, yeah, that, that that's just more money I can't afford. I, I, I'm I sorry, but four, four guppies are not worth $100. Like, like that's basically, like, I don't know. I'm just so disappointed with Coast Gym USA. Um, I'm not, like, ranting, and I'm not saying you guys... Sh well, actually, uh, yeah, I, I basically am saying you guys probably shouldn't buy from Coast Gym USA unless you think you're a master fish doctor and you can cure these fish within like five minutes which is impossible so don't even try um i'm just gonna say don't buy from them anymore uh or i'm not gonna buy from them anymore you guys can buy from them if you want but there's risk to that um there's risk buying from anyone but uh the the risk from buying from them is just too high for any chance of uh real anything good to come about it, I guess. Anyways, um, while we were out today, uh, yeah, that's, I did go out today because, like, even though we, uh, had, a basically, uh, fire in the area, and, like, it's hazy outside. I'll, I'll show you guys, uh, before I, uh, sorry. But, uh, we did get some uh, other guppies, and these were uh, sold to me by a good friend of mine. Uh, the tank isn't the cleanest, but uh, I am planning to clean it tonight. These are the guppies. Medicine in the tank. Yeah, we did put some medicine in the tank. We always medicate our tank when we get a uh, fresh stock in there. Um, I really like the that one guppy there in the back oh kind of looks like this one and I uh, really like him and uh, oh there he just got on the camera but yeah those two are my favorites the rest uh, they have a little bit of a uh, color in their tail but not much they're kind of uh, more tail color than body color um we do have a uh, pleco back there as uh you guys might be able to see if I can now he moved. Well, he's back there behind the heater. Oh, wait, they're both back there behind the heater. Yeah, we do have a male and a female. I'm going to get a little cave, and we are going to try to breathe. Oh, yep. They're darting around. He's darting around. The other one's still back there. Got a little plant in there, too. Got some snails, but, uh... Yeah, we did uh, get two males and four females. Uh, those guppies are basically going to be breeding. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with those guppies yet. I'm probably just going to end up selling them due to the fact that uh, it would be nice if some of these tanks actually started to give me my money back. Um, <laughs> believe me, I've spent thousands of dollars like... And when you have nine tanks and hunt, like almost a hundred fish, you basically get the right to say, hey, I've spent over a thousand dollars. The tanks alone are over a thousand dollars. And and some of these I've even gotten on that like uh, dollar per a gallon uh, sale. So like, I've, I, I've even taken advantage of that and I've tried to save money where I can but when you're when you're buying a 38 and a 36 and like 320s and 210s and 215s you know like you, you just start to um I mean it starts to add up really quick um I'm gonna be uh, doing a update video here well sorry not update video I'm gonna be talking here about uh, maintaining tanks tomorrow um i'm also probably gonna do a little bit uh on uh i don't know i have to come up with some ideas and i'm running I, I out of ideas of what to talk about i'm not gonna lie um i'll probably talk a little bit about guppy breeding and show you guys my uh, 20 gallon guppy tank 
uh, that is the tank that uh, the original batch I bought from Coast Gym USA went into and I have uh, quite a bit of fry in there right now um, but yeah that's that's the only bad thing that really happened is that those guppies from Coast Gym USA didn't survive uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, Was, there's a lot of fry in that tank like a lot of fry like <laughs> like uh in fact uh, there's so many fry I'm trying to convince mom over here to let me get another 10 gallon tank for a grow out tank so that probably won't happen anytime soon but I'm trying to convince her anyways um I know this is kind of a short video and uh not very long but uh, I thought I should uh, at least uh, inform you guys about this uh, I will now be transferring the uh, video idea I had for them over to these guppies I will be keeping an update on them and the bristlenose pluckos uh, yeah a uh, little uh, tip note if anyone gets those don't use a net they were uh, a little, uh, Hard to get out of the mess. yeah, they have these little bristles on their face and they can get trapped in the net. If, if, if you're going to use a net, use a very fine net. Don't use one of these, uh, normal green ones. You're probably going to want to use something a little smaller and make sure that there's like no holes that you can visibly see in the net. Anyways, um, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, I'll probably be uh, doing an update on those guppies regularly. I will uh, probably uh, show you how to take care of the babies, what to feed them, when to feed them, etc. I'll probably do an entire video on that when I do have some baby <laughs> when I do have some babies in that tank. Uh, until then, uh, this is Frank. Frank Crocs, sign out. I hope you guys stay frosty and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day.